Hello my friends, uh, in this video uh, what I will do is I will discuss um, <laughs> yet another beautiful situation developing here for me in Poland. Um, okay, we'll go straight to the matter. Um, I have decided like this, okay, the paper that you see, yeah, this was not written by me this is not my handwriting this is the handwriting of the state employee uh, which is based uh, in uh, which is inside of the office based inside of our immigration center in Grotniki uh, not too far from watch second biggest city in Poland uh, the lady was so nice that uh, the, in general these people very nice people I have to say these are very nice people <laughs> nice nice it's really good to deal with them I like that I like that part they're very nice with me um, okay but uh, regardless of how nice she is and regardless of the fact that she's a state employee and so on seems like immigration office over there in Uch Uch had uh, a different plans uh, in respect to laws and treat this and everything else I guess because when she called for an appointment uh, so that I would go and have an appointment with them and uh, resubmit application for political asylum in Poland, uh, she got in return the answer that first I have to come in person to make an appointment to this regional, you know, this is, Poland is quite big and you're talking about Voivodstvo, Wojtko Voivodstvo. Uh, like I said, it's the second biggest city, regional office, immigration office from where they have officers uh, enforce immigration laws throughout this entire area, throughout entire uh, watch region. It's like a little republic within the Poland. Uh, and so I was there already, I know, there by the airport, it's, this is big, it's a big office. <laughs> there are people there, always they are there. Uh, and these people would want me to come, uh, no, that's maybe even 25 kilometers, maybe 30 kilometers from here. I have no idea how far this is, really. One way you're talking about. And then there's another way back, is another 30 kilometers, whatever. Uh, with train, you cannot go. It's too expensive. Um, so you have to go on bus, uh, walking, basically, and then take a train and uh, I guess even smuggle yourself somehow, walk uh, and so on and so forth to get to that place somehow. Yeah, this is the reality. Uh, to make an appointment with these people when they would actually have time uh, to schedule an appointment with you so they could go over and, uh, you know, help you file, uh, you know, submit, resubmit application for the political asylum. This is like mega strange situation uh, the telephone appointment with them in advance uh, would not do I guess uh, they're not open for that uh, and so this is what I'm required to do in short I have decided uh, despite the neighbor that literally waited for me outside of the gate you know, they watch the whole thing they have it on camera so much you have no idea uh, was right outside of the gate as I came, as I approached the security guard, just waiting on me already on the bike, uh, gesturing me how I should just immigrate to Germany and so on. Just like, go, go, go. Big disappointment today, also, uh, in, a <laughs> in this center, uh, depression. Uh, when I published that video last night, this video was really a revealing video about Putin, what, what his idea, how he's going to manipulate, you know, everybody and so on, what's going on. Uh, big depression. Uh, and so, how I just go immigrate to Germany and this and that. In short, what I am going to do is, um, I have definitely learned a lot about the Poland. I have definitely learned about more about this part of the world and about the world situation and for one to really know about what really is going on uh, you you have to try it yourself to see to understand really what's going on and I, I just did that and I see it's worthy 
for me to just go and throw away. I was like at these six months, whenever I had opportunity, I studied. It was really, really hard situation to study this language uh, under these circumstances. And I have decided to simply insist on staying in Poland. Uh, not that I would base my businesses here in the future. Not that I would go and invest blindly in Poland. Uh, but uh, instead of that, have them based outside of the Poland and uh, cover this area as well. Use the knowledge I have acquired about the politics language. That is the stuff to do, basically. This is how you do that. Uh, you don't go and you just subject yourself to the system and uh, the system rips you apart like uh, literally like a paper. You don't do that stuff. Once you learn about what's going on in the country, how country is, then you have to take precautions and do your stuff too. So you, uh, you know, you you keep the distance from, uh, you know, how they wanted you to get things done and what you want in your life. There is a place here in Poland. It's called United Nations and Amnesty International, and I would really, really love to sit at a table with these people. Uh, they're also in Switzerland. Uh, and present them with this uh, Polish, I'm not going to say only, you know, it, it's, it's a conduct. It's a criminal conduct against me. Uh, there is no conscience whatsoever uh, in respect to me. There is, there is complete discern for humanity here. I'm not going to go into human rights. The country that have gone as far as doing MK Ultra for no less than eight years and that brought me back time and again to confuse me on situations uh, does not have any compassion for me, anything whatsoever. What you have seen was just extreme derision for life, basically spitting on my life. And I'm about not to let it go just like this. It's not going to be just like this. It's not going to go away so easily. And uh, so I decided that instead of doing what most, what most likely most of the people would do, uh, I will instead of that just persist here, uh, meet with these people, uh, acquaint them uh, with situation in whole, basically not only with law, which is really, really discriminatory. This the law that states that you as a European Union citizen, you don't have the right to apply for protection in another country is, it's, it's genocidal law, really. It's like saying there is no corruption in Europe. It's like saying there is no, <laughs> there is no danger in Europe. Like, there is no crime in Europe. Uh, so, you know, that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff goes against all the human rights, against, against existence of an individual, really. That's one thing. And the second thing is this kind of conduct, this kind of derision for the Polish laws itself within the Poland. Like they completely disregard like not only European treaties, not international treaties in respect to torture and stuff like that, but are using literally this kind of laws to protect uh, mistreatment, torture of foreign uh, people or foreign individuals uh, and go beyond the laws of their own, go beyond their Polish constitution, uh, violate one, just as the case is with this thing here. This shouldn't be the case. Uh, they did not even uh, provide me with a second answer within the six months. They delayed even this to the point when I had to inquire about the work permit. Uh, so that means it was a past due already when I received the answer and so on and so forth. Uh, they just disregard completely, absolutely everything. And, you know, I'm not about, I'm not the one who's, who's going to go about to buy the dust like this. Uh, it was a good lesson. I am glad this exactly happened. Uh, you know, Pol Poland is, you're going to see the video I'm going to release, is filthy rich country. Rich, like beyond believable rich. Uh, for some people. And for some other people, it's extraordinary poor. There's a lot of Polish people that just have a hard time exist. And so I kind of decided to persist here. 
uh, will not give in just like that will use whatever I have learned about the country, about the language, to advance myself rather than to work against myself. If I just throw everything away right now in corn, uh, I have wasted all this time and energy and knowledge that I have acquired. So instead of that, what I'm going to do is exactly what I have proposed. Uh, you are welcome to contact me. You are welcome to contact me. It's not anymore. Uh, about this immigration procedure. I have done one. You have seen what happened when you file for political asylum in Poland. You probably have a good idea what this country is beneath the surface. Now you have idea. Uh, so I am therefore open also to business opportunities, jobs and stuff like this. If you're a foreign investor or domestic and you don't agree with what Warsaw is doing and you want to help, you want to offer uh, sort of source of income, I'd be more than glad to walk out of this immigration system and start uh, chapter number two, let's say, for this Valentine already. So that's all I want to say, uh, but, uh, you know, of course the complaint is going to be upgraded, it's going to be submitted to European uh, Court for Human Rights Commission and so on. Poland is going to be included in one and facts are going to be pointed about the country itself about what's going on. All right, uh, that's all I want to do. I want to give you an update about the situation. I am not leaving Poland as yet. Uh, this is not going to happen just like this. We will stay here. We will persist and insist. Uh, welcome to chapter number two in life. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.